Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm gonna talk about why I will never go back to the city community. So I've been getting um a lot of comments and a lot of people was talking about the fact um going back, not going back. So let's talk about this today. So first of all, let me know in the comments why in the hell do you think I should go back? Like. People literally keep saying like, oh, just give him a year, just give him a few days and he will go back. So the question is, why in the hell should I go back? Tell me, for what? I didn't find any reason. Some people are just weird. They will be like, God, God will kill you if you don't come back and blah, 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 blah. So first of all, I want to say that um, I don't believe in God. And if you disagree, or like a lot of people say that science do believe in God, the answer is no, science does not believe in God, because according to science, the world is billions or millions of years old. And according to the to God and to the Torah and to the Bible, the world is less than 6,000 years old. So, yeah, just, I mean, 6,000 years old. So tell me just exactly how science absolutely does not agree um, with God so and also I have a question for you who built God who made God you have an answer for that probably not and if yeah let me know and another thing is um, did you ever like about religion did you ever see like a Christian um, like talking the in Yiddish just say mafsam you say um, Oh, Jesus, uh, I prayed to him, and, and he answered me, and I literally saw um, a big something happen, you know, I was in, in need, and I prayed to Jesus, and Jesus helped me. And you laughing, you know, like, come on, this is bullshit, you know what I mean? I used, I used to be Jewish, and I still even have, like, this mentality. When I see, like, a Christian or, like, anybody's other religions talking, I'm like, come on, are you fucking serious? But the same thing is you. If you are a different religion than you're born, then I can hear what you say. But you didn't even like change religion. You just born in that religion and you try to defend your comfort zone. It's not like you went out and did your research. Uh, by the way, as I'm talking, I remember one guy um, comment, guys, please, please do not um, subscribe and follow this guy. If you want, you can go every day on this channel. Why? Because he's so scared that if they're gonna keep listening, they're gonna they're gonna know something better and they're gonna leave the community. That's that that was always their biggest threat to outsiders to talk. And by the way, guess what? Probably after this video or a few more videos, the rabbis will say Joseph Krause is a uh, is not a, he's you're not allowed to listen to his videos or follow him and subscribe. And I can promise you that's gonna happen if it did, if it does, didn't happen yet. And also, yes, yeah, so I'm trying to understand for what I should go back. Like people keep saying that, and and I don't even see. Like I should go back to a community which is full of negativity. Like in the community, and and guys, if you don't believe me, just look in the comments. And if you guys um don't speak Yiddish, I can tell you like 99% of the comments are negative as fuck. Okay. So, just, if, maybe you can translate it, but it's really, really negative, and, um, and bullying in the community is absolutely okay, and that's, that's what the rabbis, that's what the teachers are doing, so, it's perfect, and, yeah, that's, that's why they are racist, because bullying is absolutely fine, and, um, being racist is absolutely fine for them, and, yeah, so, then, um, I was want to say, so a lot of people said, um, oh, you said that most people will end up on drugs, um, suicide or stuff like that. Oh, you see, most people end up, motherfucker, that's the whole point because you guys are a cult. You grew up a kid um, with no education, with nothing. So when you leave and no, no, he has no support, he has nothing. You know, most people in my shoes at this point, I'm not even talking about the YouTube comments and everything. I'm just talking about the last eight months what I've been going through. We'll be already suicide. Why should they keep going to this hard stuff? They'll be like, I'm done. That's what most kids will do. 
Most kids does not have that much of a drive like me. Most kids will give up. Most people, I'm, I'm saying, keep saying kids. Most people, especially young people, why, sh why should they keep fighting? I'm a very different kind of person. I have a lot of um, motivation and self-motivation. Nobody has to motivate me. Most people, Americans and even Hasidic community where technically suicide is not like that much than in the outside world will be suicide at this point because they're going, they will go to so hard times because, and by the way, the same people say, oh, Joseph, you're English, you sound so stupid, you talk slow, you, you have a big um, accent, and some people say that, I, um, that I'm like um, swinging, I'm still Hasidic, yeah, so my English is bad, yeah, of course, I'm not denying it, because it's your guy's fault, I, I st here, here's the problem, a lot of people are embarrassed to say like, oh, yeah, um, I don't know how to use technology or my English or my knowledge. I don't know like stuff what everybody, which is like pop culture, everybody know that. No, how are you supposed to know that? They never teach you that. If you want to know this stuff, you gotta, you gotta do illegal stuff like research on the internet or something, which the community does not allow. And by the way, guys, like to the non-Jewish guys, every Jew who you see here commenting or anything, he already did something what he's not supposed to do. Number one, he's not supposed to have a smartphone. And number two, the rabbis probably already said that they're not allowed to watch my videos. Or they will say it. I can promise you they will say it. Because that's that was always their biggest threat. That's why they're not allowed you to have TVs, smartphones, or line secular, read secular books. Because they're scared that you're gonna get more educated and know something else. So, yeah. The next thing what I was wanting to say, um, a lot of people say, oh, you don't have a job. Of course I don't have a job. How should I have a job? You guys never educate me with anything. You guys never give me any skills. You guys never teach me English. How should I get a job? Of course I was struggling in the beginning with. That, that's, that was the expected. That doesn't mean when I leave your fucking community that I'm bad or I will not be successful. That means that you design the community in that fucking way that I should have no fucking support and no fucking way to be successful. So the only three options will be comeback, suicide, or drugs. But I will prove you guys wrong. I will prove you guys fucking wrong and I will do it. So keep watching and subscribe to this channel and I will show you. And um, the next thing a lot of people say, so I understand you left the community, but why do you talk? Um, so like angry about them. Why do you um, why do you like talk shit about the community? Let me ask you. Why shouldn't I? The community is not a nice thing. It's a bad thing. They damaged my whole childhood. Okay, and now I'm going through hell, and it will take probably a pretty amount of time until I get success. But even then. I will still have like the bad memories and even if not, um, it will take definitely years until I get like 1 million percent successful because I won't like get English overnight and pop culture overnight. These things does not happen overnight. That's why they grew you up that you should, it, it should be almost impossible to uh, be successful in the outside world. So yeah, and um, I also want to understand, so I think I should go back to the community I don't know how much about of you guys know, but in that fucking community, they suck bloody da baby dicks, okay? Tell me, who in the hell suck bloody da baby dicks, okay? So then they suck it, so then I can get like HIV and, 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 and herpes. Are you fucking curious? Are you fucking serious? You sucking bloody little kid baby dicks? Are you serious? And... Um, Speaking about um, sucking bloody baby dicks, in the community, when someone um, will, will be a pedophile or rape somebody or, or molester somebody, the whole, com the whole fucking community will support the molester or pedophile. Why the fuck is that? Can Do you have any fucking reason other than you're a fucking idiot? Other than that? Can you tell me? Okay, let me tell you a story what happened with me, okay? When I was a little kid... My principal called me in the office. Why? Because uh, I was playing with a other little boy. Not um. I mean, we both 
both of us want to do it. We kind of play with each other's private parts, whatever. I don't want to go into details, but you guys probably understand what I'm saying. But according to the um, Torah and whatever, to their bullshit, you're not allowed to do that. So this kind of case is like a big case. Okay, so they're going to send it to the principal, the old fucking dude, okay? So this guy, he called me in at the office and he said, Joseph, what did he do? I said, what do you mean what I do? Well, you want me to explain how many times I, I, I touched the boy and I, what the fuck? Like, I, I know, like, okay, you're going to smack me now, so stop smacking. Like, why, why do you ask me what do you do? But anyways, I'm standing there. And I'm, I mean, I didn't know what to answer. So he pulled down my pants. Yeah, you heard it. You heard it right. He pulled down my pants and he asked me, Joseph, what did you do? Okay. That's what he did to me. And I don't remember too much what happened after that. But I do remember that he took down my pants and looked up my fucking dick, okay? So, um, and, and guess what? Ten years later, the FBI was cam and investigate that principal. And the whole fucking community protect this fucking pedophile. What the fuck? The whole community protect him. And they raised millions of dollars. He had the best lawyers. Better, even better than Donald Trump. He had the best lawyers to... to get, and guess what? He, he didn't even went to jail or prison or anything. Because the whole community protect him. The community has political power. The community has like money power. Whatever, how much they need. They will get the biggest lawyers. They can um, give um, money for the, for the judges and everything. All kind of illegal stuff. But the main thing is they protect the pedophiles. And now they're happy. Oh my god, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this fucking community. Oh my god, like this is fucking crazy. Um, so yeah, and, and you guys I, you guys should um, search up. Um, encourage your principal, rape a kid. So there's, there's clear videos, a principal is going with the kid, and he's literally raped the kid, and the whole community protect. There's videos, guys, go on YouTube. Search, I lived in Monroe, Curious Joel, a principal, and, and, and another thing, there's a, 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 a what is the word, a activist, he, he trying to protect um, and help kids and victims from sexual harassment, and guess what, the community shot him once in the head and they're trying to make blind with bleach, that's what they will do, that, that is what this wonderful community is all about, so... Yeah, and these guys who will be very mad why I talk now all against the community. Of course I'm mad. Why shouldn't I talk about it? Because you guys fucking ruined my life. You guys fucking ruined it. And yeah, guys, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. And um, so you won't miss any single video. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to share with your friends. And in this video, I will ask you guys, the haters, please give it a thumbs up instead of a thumbs down. So in this video, we're going to change it. Thumbs up will be for thumbs, for dislike and thumbs up and, and, and dislike will be for thumbs up. All right. Anyways, kind of confusing, but yeah. Anyways, guys, um, to the lovers, I love you too. Okay. I don't know if I make it right, but yeah. And to the haters, last time I put two hands, now I think one hand looks better. Fuck you too. Um, and yeah, and I think you should go rape a few more kids. It will be a wonderful, um, wonderful thing. And yeah, the Torah who, who said that um, the, this, this, I don't know, these kids um, drunk their father to can rape their fucking father. That's, that's what the fucking Torah is all about, okay? So, stop fucking kidding me, okay? Peace.